all right guys so welcome back to another video so what i want to share with you is my plans uh, what i've been doing lately with my golf swing with my um with what i want to do in the future and one of the things that i done is i uh, got a lesson from a pga professional this was about two weeks ago and uh, it went really well actually i kind of just changed my my not my grip but just the way i was feeling my grip and it was just a simple uh, advice that I received from the PGA professional and actually that kind of eliminated my misses to the right. Simply by holding, all it was is this, I can show you real quick. Uh, he had me hold the, the club like this initially before I um, close my grip. And that alone, against feeling it in this middle finger right here, um, that helped me a lot. Another uh, announcement is that I'm gonna um, start playing uh, tournaments again. So my next tournament will be actually tomorrow. And my last tournament was uh, way back in November, and uh, which I didn't do very well on that tournament. So I will try to get back into playing tournaments. My handicap right now is 8.8. Um, so I wanted to kind of lower that. The ultimate goal, um, I know it's a little bit uh, far reach, but um basically there is this tour where you can play in germany uh if i get my handicap down to 3.5 i can actually um, play in these tours with uh professional golfers um, but i do have to get my handicap down to 3.5 which is going to be quite difficult but i think um i could do it um i what i changed lately apart from my my grip, which I think is has helped me a lot on all my clubs, uh, my putting. My putting is something else that I've been working on a lot, and I feel like I'm finally getting in somewhere. So uh, we'll see that tomorrow in the tournament. It's called the Golf Pro Tour in Germany, and I like it because it gives you this opportunity to be in this environment with pro golfers. As an amateur, you can participate, and if it goes well if i like it if it's something that i like uh, what i can do is go to q school and basically it's a two-day event where you go you pay again 250 dollars and you will be playing with other 150 participants and obviously they will do the categories so if i were to come last uh, i get my maybe just a, a couple of um, uh, invitations uh, obviously probably hopefully not try not to come last but uh they divided by category so you know the top 10 get a uh, category one then uh, after that category two three four five the only thing that you got to do obviously is get that handicap to 3.5 so after that you you can uh, you're able to participate to these events and i think for me it would be good because it will give me a lot of experience you know playing uh, with professionals and other very good players I think it will make it will help your game uh, a lot in my opinion so i'm always playing you know the same with the same um, in the same environment here tournaments here there and so this would completely change the setting in my opinion so it will be something great i think for my for my game obviously i, I will continue putting videos out there reviews um, of products and showing you the things that i'm doing uh, with my backyard um, cage projects uh, but <clears throat> from time to time I will give you an update of what I'm, what I'm actually doing for my golf career if you want to call it and um, I know that the goal is very very um, you know hard to reach I would, I would say because getting from an 8.8 .8 handicap to 3.5 is going to be difficult um, but I think it, it can be it can be done um, especially if i um, improve my short game which is something that i'm working on a lot lately <clears throat> what i'm doing is i'm just trying to keep the ball down basically around the green let the green work the ball and my putting my putting has improved a lot so, um, you know when you're playing over here <clears throat> everything is level is easy but then when you get out in the course it's a little more difficult obviously but i do feel very confident lately i feel confident in my drives confident confident in my Long irons, short irons, uh, short game and putty. So I think it's the best time for me to start playing um, competitive golf. 
and and see how it goes so you know let me know what you guys think so this was just a quick video uh to give you an update on my uh golf of what i'm doing uh golf wise you know outside my backyard and you know the range whatever so uh my first tournament again tomorrow so hopefully i can um it will be a turning point for me hopefully maybe not you know i haven't played in a while but i will go out there with confidence and hopefully i can do well I will try to uh, make a few clips of what I'm doing and then I can uh, maybe make a video later on on how I went. So I will be trying to do that lately in my tournaments as well. So I think that will be interesting for the channel. Maybe not uh, record everything because I don't think I can do that. But if I can even just record the shot of where I got the ball or how I'm playing that particular hole, you know, where, where I'm doing well or not. So just to give you an update on an, an idea of, you know, how is to play competitive golf in, in Italy. So I will keep you updated. Uh, comment below if you have any suggestions. Uh, make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel, guys, and like the video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.